It is Friday, bros and ghouls. Willusionist here with another tutorial. For real. Today I'm doing a complete tutorial for the infamous dark fantasy character, Edward Scissorhands. The original makeup and practical effects for this film were done by Stan Winston in 1990. Directed by Tim Burton and starring Johnny Depp, the film really captures innocence and beauty while showcasing the importance of gentleness and love. For a list of products used in this tutorial, check out the video description below. First block out your eyebrows, then begin applying the unique scars Edward has on his face. For this tutorial, I decided to use Rigid Collodion Scarring Liquid. In the original film, the scars were raised above the skin's surface. I'll show you how I created the same effect later in the tutorial. Follow a reference photo from the film and apply the scarring liquid repeatedly, allowing each coat to dry. When you have finished applying the scars, cover the face in a pale foundation. I used Revlon Colorstay makeup in ivory. I felt this makeup created a more natural, translucent finish than powder or cream makeup. Go light on the makeup application and aim to distribute evenly. As a guy, I had to apply more above the upper lip to cover facial hair. I switched over to a makeup sponge that allowed the surface to be covered and the scar depressions to really stand out. Don't forget to cover the outer areas of the face, ears, and neck. Keep in mind Edward was found isolated in a dark attic. He wasn't chilling with the Kardashians getting spray tans. Next, add the last scar to your lip. Do not use rigid collodion as it's unsafe to apply to delicate tissue. I used Ben Nye Scar Wax with no spirit gum. I pressed a few sausage shapes of wax onto the lip at an angle. Then I used a palette knife and dissolve it to blend the edges into the skin. You can use a makeup spatula and Vaseline for the same process. This is what the small wax shapes should look like. Blend the edges as thinly as possible. The wound should appear more fresh than the rest of the scars. Using a small brush, apply shadows along the edge of each scar. This will give the scars more dimension and appear raised. Blend the line of color into the foundation for a natural appearance. Create another shadow along the brow and down into the eye socket. I use the dark gray from the NYX Dreamcatcher palette. Pull the shadow to the outermost edge of the brow, then blend upward or buff out with a powder brush to make the shadow more subtle. For the shadow underneath the eye, I used a purple flesh tone from the Ben Nye Bruise Wheel. Stay along the contour of the eye socket and blend into the foundation.
add shadows below the cheekbones and along the jawline as well. A deep purple or gray tone should work well. These additions make the face appear more sunken in and give the look a dramatic effect. Buff the shadows out with a powder brush. For the last bit of makeup, I added more foundation and ivory to the outer edges of the lips. Then I applied plum to the center of the lips in a heart shape and blended it out into the foundation. You can find the plum color in the Ben Nye Bruise Wheel. Don't forget to fill in the lip scar with a dark flesh color like brown or maroon. Put together your best costume, work on that awkward smile, and your look is complete. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more Halloween makeup tutorials. Big thanks to Megan Head for the hairstyle on this look. P.S. Don't pop your friend's waterbed or accidentally stab someone with scissors. Not cool.